Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you are a new subscriber, first time viewer, thank you so much for taking time out of your day and watching me. If you're a repeat, hello again. Um, kind of a different setup, um, but I like it. I can show off my uh, virtue piece um, that I have over my desk and I love looking at it and my fabulous turquoise what was that like eight dollars at the thrift store i think um michael jackson cocaine um some stitched friend pieces my monk cup scissor fob um just all kinds of Good little goodies that I'd love to see. Oh, this will need to be in this pile. So thank you guys for coming back as always. I have needed to do this video for a long time. The crap was stacking up and last night I said, it's enough, it's done. I need to do a damn video. So here I am, it's Tuesday morning, cold outside, but at least it's blue sky. Now you're like McKenna, really cold outside. What's cold to you? Basically anything under 70. If I need to put on a jacket or a long sleeve something, it's too cold, it's too many clothes. This is just like a thin gray shirt, so, um, the heat may or may not be on right now, just for me. Um, quick little life update since my last video, I turned the big 3-3, three, three. Um, just kept it low key. We went out to dinner, super simple, um, because a couple weeks before that I had gone out with friends. Cal turned eight, his birthday is December 1st. He was actually due around my birthday, which I hated. Um, I did not want to share a birthday with one of my kids. I don't know. I just want them to have their own day. And I'm going to be selfish and say it. I want my own damn day. So, but yeah, Cal was born December 1st. So he turned eight. Wally yesterday turned five. My Wally is five. Our Wally is five. I can't believe it. Um, sad because life expectancy for wolfhounds are between five and seven, five and eight. Um, so it's just kind of sad to think of it in that kind of those kind of terms. Um, but he's good. He got extra loving. Um, love all day and treats. Um, and I think he's passed out from all the fun right now. Vegas is calling my name. Going back to Vegas. Um, a girlfriend and myself will be going. And I love her because we went to Vegas. We used to work um, in California together when I lived up in the Sacramento area. We worked at the same pet hospital. Um, obviously I've moved on from that. She works for a dog food company. Um, and we've met up in Vegas before when she's had conferences there. I just drive up and we have been wanting to do a trip. Um, she's recently been going through a divorce and I said, when it fits into your schedule, we're going. Um, so yeah, early January, we're going to go. And I love her because she was like, I can't wait to go to that sewing store of yours or whatever you call it. Um, and I said, yes, I will have to hit that up. Um, because they're closed on the weekend. So I also want to hit up a couple other places, but otherwise we're just going to kind of wing it and explore. So um, she'll be in the Phoenix area doing some meetings and Thursday, 
when she is done with the meetings, she's going to come over to the house and drive to Vegas. So Thursday to Sunday, nothing crazy. Vegas is one of those places, it's about two, three days tops and you need to go home. Um, just because it's just so go, 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 at least when I go, it is like that. Um, so basically after, you know, the third, fourth morning you're waking up, it's like, okay, I need to go home and do like a full on detox. I cannot thank you guys so much. I don't even, people have said this before. Thank you is just not enough. Those, those two words are not enough to express the amount of gratitude that I have for you guys in response to 1884 stitchery. I was nervous when I first made it, you know, published it to go live. I wasn't sure what the feedback would be and it's been nothing but positive feedback. Um, so thank you guys so, so much. Uh, later in the video, I'm going to be telling you guys some new things to the store. And I have some fabulous things coming to 1884. Um, so if you are not a follower of my Facebook group page, 1884 Stitchery, look that up, follow it. Um, because anytime I will update any new charts or anything, I will post it on that to inform you guys of, you know, kind of the new additions to the site. But I thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate all of the shout outs from so many people in their videos that have shouted out my store. I appreciate it so much. Um, I just see the store kind of doing a lot of great things in the future. And I want to bring you guys some of the, you know, out of print, rare pieces that are either ridiculous amounts on eBay or Etsy and bring them to you guys in an affordable way. Um, so I have things here I'm going to tell you guys about later in the video what's going to be new to the store. So stay tuned. I have been doing a secret stitch um, I want to show you guys so bad, um, but I have to wait until, let's just say the secret stitch is not for somebody, it is for 1884. So I guess it is for all fellow stitchers out there. So it is for you, um, but I can't reveal it just yet. So. I've been working on that piece, um, which I'm excited to show you guys, hopefully within the next video. Um, I have been stitching though. The other day on Sunday, we got, um, our neighbors could not make it to the Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals Lions game. Um, they have season tickets. So they gave us the tickets, we went, like basically 50 yard line, that first section. I don't do football, the boys do football, as in Ayrton and Cal. Um, and they were just totally shocked when we showed up at the stadium. They couldn't believe we were going to a football game. The stadium's only about 30, 35 minutes from us. Um, and I had gotten on the stadium website because so many places nowadays, they crack down on what you can carry in. And basically it's a see-through bag. So a clear bag, um, size of like a gallon bag is what they use as a measurement. Um, so I could have just walked in with a gallon size Ziploc bag and been like, this is my bag. Um, or a clutch, which it's not a clutch. They measured it to be like a four by six, which is like an index card. Okay, that's not a clutch. That's a coin purse. 
Um, so I carried my phone and ID and a credit card and that was it. Um, but I had pulled stitching. I was going to take stitching to the football game. Um, so I came back here and I'm like, okay, what do I have that's small that I could take? And I remember I had started Minerva. This is from Kathy Barrick. I bought this chart um, one of the times that I was in Vegas. So I pulled this out to take. And obviously couldn't take it, but it was fine. So Sunday night and then last night I was stitching on it and I like all of the, I like it, okay? But I think what made me see it in the first place caught my attention was just the square, just how she is. The mermaid itself with the witch, her crazy hair, just the center block. So last night I was stitching. I was going to start on the little triangles all the way around. And I got like two, a half, two and a half of the triangles in. And I was like, I think I'm going to stop. So I stopped. Um, I stitched this on a 32 count solo dye Wexford linen from Silk Weaver. I had picked this up. Um, in Jersey, going back to Jersey in August, Floss Troop Retreat dose, so excited. So I finished it. Um, and I freaking love her. I did all the called for colors. I just used, um, DMC. I did change actually her skin. They had her basically like albino, but... Girl's a mermaid. She needs a tan. So I used color and cotton. I'm not sure. Um, but I wanted to give her a little bit of a color and loved her hair. Um, her skirt is pretty fantastic. The fish. I love these little waves here. Um, yeah, so I stitched that and then not too long ago, I finished her off. So again, all I do, all I do is when she is on, when the piece is on the fabric, the stitched, I cut out how big that I want, how big I want the pillow to be there. Then... I take that same measurement and cut out a piece of backing fabric, okay? Now, backing fabric doesn't need to be quilting quality. This is just stuff from Hobby Lobby, nothing special. You can also go to thrift stores and use t-shirts, uh, skirt, pants. I think, um, I know. Felicity Stitches Jen, she finished a back of a small using a pair of pants, I believe, that she had gotten at the thrift store. So again, you can go find some backing fabric for uber cheap and get a lot of it and use that. I sew uh, right side, right side together. Cut a hole with uh, scissors. Make sure you're not going to snip through onto the stitch piece. Turn it out, press it, and fill it up. This is actually filled with a combination of my diamond painting beads, the extras, and rice because I didn't have enough diamond painting beads. Um, but otherwise, I just use rice. And then I used... Um, an extra piece of the stitched fabric as my little pasty cover. Why is it square? Because I decided to go square. Okay, Jen, 
So it's not my circle pasty look, but I decided to go with a square. And this is attached with some 3M spray adhesive. Push it down, let it dry for three minutes, boom, done. Really, it's that easy. Really, really. I love it though. I think it's super, super cute. It's a little, actually, let's see. Is she fitting here? She's a little large, but done. There she is. Um, yeah, so that was 32 count. Really liked that. Loved the coverage, the two over two on 32. So yeah, donezo. All right, next I had finished this DP um, a couple weeks ago. I got this chart off of, this was Amazon. I know it's still available and it's rounds and I love it. It's fantastic. Now this one, I actually put behind glass. Actually, I don't know. I think it's just plexi uh, and the sparkle is really, really good. Um, let's see some of it there. So I had taken, <clears throat> I <clears throat> needed a couple frames for some projects. This one, um, a finished piece I'm doing for someone. We'll talk about that later. And, um, my diamond painting gift for, uh, my girlfriend that I did. So I took the measurements, went thrifting the other day. Oh my God, you guys. And this was the only frame that I, now I originally thought, okay, I want it in white, but I actually really like it in this dark. So um, it was three bucks. This was actually, funny enough, an M. This is what was in it. So I just popped it. Um, and this is super, super, you know, sturdy so I spray adhesive spray I used spray adhesive on the back of this press down the canvas and this is what's giving it its stability um and then yeah you just use the little tack so I'll get some paper to cover it to make it not so ghetto looking but I love it I have yet to to hang obviously this one and my two other ones. Um, I need to get on that or I need Joe to get on that. Okay, so I got piles around me for days. Birthday start. Um, wanted something small, get it done in a few days and I did get it done in a few days. I had started uh, Manny D. Donnie, Lady Samoa, Simona, sewing box and accessories. This is from 2015. And what I loved about it, one, Manny D. Donnie, it's based out of Italy, so yes. You do not stitch the lady, she is a button. Um, there is, I was contacted and asked if there, if she is charted out. So if you don't want to use the button, you can stitch her. She is not. So that's the only, I mean, I wonder if you could email and see if where you could just get a button. Um, hand painted wood button included. But I love it. I think it's gorgeous. So I stitched that up. I converted the threads to Pelswa. And this is what I came up with. And I love it. I did put my initials on it. Um, I just recharted them and 
yeah, I love how it turned out. Letitia, look, peacocks. And then I just used, I don't have Nymo because I don't do beading or any of that stuff, but I just had some clear thread on a spool. So I just used it and it worked perfectly. I love it. Um, surprisingly enough, I went shopping in my closet of frames and there was nothing. Nothing. So that is out to find a frame. I also have um, a couple other ones hanging here. So I need to get those framed up or finished somehow. But when I do finally get those oh, framed up, I will let you know. Uh, since I am done with Minerva and Manny D. Donnie, I will be putting these up on the store. Obviously this won't come with the button, but you could easily stitch it without or, you know, figure out and add some, some, some type of alternative. So you can look for these in the store. Um, okay, oh, he's gonna be yawning. I'm not really sure why. My mom has decided to go, they're not, my parents are not hoarders by any means. They have just, I mean, we've moved a lot. Um, and I think just parents have a lot of stuff and she wants to downsize. So she has been bringing bags or boxes to me to go through if I want it. I can keep it if not donated, sell it on eBay. I'm not gonna do that. Um, but she brought me some pretty amazing things. So she actually threw this in my bag for my birthday. Um, a really old, would this be like a potato mash or some sort of whisk? Um, it's amazing. Whoever had had it in our family had looked like row with a Sharpie. So I need to figure out how to get Sharpie off of metal. And made in the United States of America high speed beater. Pretty fantastic. I love it. So, love to know who used this, when it was used. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. She also brought over, oh, it's a little. It's a little tight. It's because it fits good on my ring hand, but not on my right hand. So this ring um, belonged to my grandpa's mom, which the site is named after, 1884 Citry. So this was um, a ring that she wore um, I need to clean it up. I have some, um, cloths for sterling silver and clean it up a bit. So, yeah, I love this so much that I have a ring that she wore. I love this so much. She brought over like photos for me to go through, keep which ones I want. Some of them are just like crap. Like we went to the Rose Parade 
um, in Southern California one year. We didn't go to it, but you can go a couple days after um, and they have all the floats lined up and that's what we did. And so, I mean, it's just photos of like the floats. Don't need to keep these. Um, but there are some, some okay good ones in there of me, I guess. Um, like, let's just say everybody goes through their, in their gawky phase, and the pictures that I have are definitely of me in my gawky, ugly phase glasses and braces. Let's see if there's any here that I am wanting to share. It could be incriminating, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, we can do this. Here's me as a little. Uh, this is nine of 86. So just a little couple months before my first birthday. Um, Christmas, yes, I had a pair of pink Nikes. Um, who remembers Teddy Ruxpin? Because I totally had a Teddy Ruxpin. That is my mom's mom. That's my grandma. And... Let's see. Put you down. Here I am, five and a half months old. Look, you guys didn't realize you were going down memory lane. And look at this. Look at this sofa. Can we talk about this sofa? Holy moly. Look at that sofa. It's like old school luxury right there. Anyway, so she brought all kinds of fun things like that. I haven't gone through them and I wonder if she has the Michael Jackson photos. If we ever took pictures of Michael Jackson when we met him, we didn't meet him when he told me hi at Disneyland. Oh no. All right, what else did she bring? She brought... These are obviously machine made. We picked these up when we were in Mexico one year. Yes, they're probably pasties. Um, this was in Hawaii where you can open up um, a pearl. And I did, and so I have a pearl in there. But. What did she give? Do you guys know what these are? These are socks that were knitted by my great grandmother, Miss Liv, Miss Otavia. So I have the socks that are one is made, and this the one that I have is like on the needles. Um, but here are actual sock socks that she had actually completed. So this is uh, pretty amazing to have those. And she also believes that these may have been embroidered by Otavia. They are pillowcases with just a simple little flower motif. Arlene, I assume that this is... Arlene, I'll just send you pictures. You can tell me if it's handmade or machined. So, two of those. So, I'm loving this stuff that my mom is bringing over to me. Um, 
so she has more. Um, she's I, she sent me a picture the other day, and um, she had like six boxes or something. And I said, "What clothes for me?" And she's like, "No, they're a size two. Um, she was really really thin when she was younger, but now I feel like I need to message her back after this video and be like. If you have any sequins or anything shiny, keep them. So, um, all right, next. I think that was all, yes. So um, I've gotten some amazing gifts in the mail recently due to my birthday um, and just out of pure kindness. Crystal, I will link her Etsy store. No, Etsy? You have Etsy? Or is it all Instagram? It is Etsy. Um, Jeweled Antler Co. Um, you've seen Bendy Michelle show these on her channel. Jewelry for your scissors, yes. Um, just amazing. And then, oh, she sent me two earrings too similar to kind of this bluish color and then a clear um, dangle, which I love. But yeah, I love this. Thank you so much, Crystal. Um, I will link her Etsy store down below. Just gorgeous. And those I have in my, which I was told, my relish tray slash scissor holder and you know what I use it for? Guess what came in the mail? Boom. My 1884 stitchery business cards. There you go. See it's the scissors in half. So love that. Uh these were from a, oh gosh, I'm totally blanking. There is a regular stitcher every Thursday that comes in stitches and her mom um, no longer stitches, but she knits. So her mom had just made like a ton of these fingerless gloves and she sent them to the store with her daughter on Thursday when it was stitching and everyone got some fingerless gloves. I love these. Um, got the red, of course. I don't know if it looks like I broke both of my wrists, but yeah, I love these. I think it's so, so cool. They're actually showing up a lot more red. Um, they're darker, more like Almost borderline burgundy, but not. Uh, Arlene just gets me. Fabulous Arlene Cohen works by ABC. You guys, I I'm, I'm, might be the last one to inform you all. She was picked up by Hoffman. So harass your LNSs to carry Arlene's patterns and you can find her on one, two, three stitch as well. Boom. So Arlene works by ABC. Dear friend of mine. She never disappoints. Um, I mean, really, what do I need more from a birthday gift? Michael sequins and handmade lace. Really? Yes, really. Uh, so two years in a row. Two years? Yeah, uh, something sequined, so yes. You can never, like, really, Michael. Um, I don't have this one um, either. He kind of pisses me off with some of the clothing in here. Um, Where's the piece that I really want? 
Can we talk about his jacket? Let's talk about that jacket. I want that jacket. Actually, who owns a lot of his stage pieces um, from touring is Lady Gaga. I think I've mentioned that. I can't. I can't. I just love him. Love Michael. Freaking tickets to one in Vegas. Expensive. Holy crap. I want to go, but then it's like, do I swing by Sergio Rossi and try to get the shoes that I'm eyeing at? They just came out. I'll insert a picture here of them. See, they're gorgeous. I need them. All right, what else did Arlene send? You guys, you know she shows us her ninja skills. And there we go. She made me this book card, bookmark. She made this by hand for lace ninja skills. It's freaking gorgeous. Um, and that's why I have it up on my, up here, so I can see it. Now see, you know you're, it's good when you get a spot next to Michael. I love that. Love me some Michael sequins and lace. Um, kind of like something that totally goes with him, Michael sequins and lace, I Totally goes together. Uh, Christmas cards. Uh, Minty Stitcher. Gorgeous card, girlfriend. Thank you so much. I loved how she included her two pups as well. Donna Newman. I'm going to be meeting her in New Jersey, Floss Tuber Tree. Um, it's Christmas, bitches. Yes, it is. It's Christmas, bitches. So thank you ladies for those. Again, BS, Bendy Stitchy. She just knows me. She just knows me. And why? Because she sent me a book, Graded Lessons in Psychology and Hygiene. Uh, she showed this book in her video. She had got it at, at an estate sale and she passed it on to me. Yes, please. Um, and I love that it has acorns on it. Did you notice that BS? It has acorns on it. Um, I was reading the section, which is really interesting on scoliosis. Um, because that's the surgery that I had. Um, and so it's funny how they talk about it, that it's a school seats and desk, that it's a posture thing, um, but it's also a genetic thing as well. Um, so like, for example, my mom has sway back. It's a version of scoliosis. So it's just talk. It's, it's just funny how they say you know, your seat needs to be higher, growing out of shape, sprains. Um, so I thought that was kind of funny. So yes, this would be going into my medical bathroom now that I have shown it. Um, next gift. Um, didn't ask. So... I'm just going to say initials, GD. GD is another lady that totally, totally knows me. And I will be able to give her a big, huge hug in June during the StitchCon um, retreat. She had contacted me and said that she had blank item for my medical room, would I be interested? 
you know, I'm not a creeper, I'm a grandma, here are pictures of me, my husband, her kid, her grandkids. It was amazing. But once you see what items she sent me, you will think, wow, GD is a little creepy. No, GD is everything. She's a kick-ass grandma. Um, so she sent me extras as well, which was amazing and, oh God. Again, stitching gifts come on the perfect days, don't they? A card, something, right? The perfect days. This was a perfect day gift. Yes to antique buttons. Yes, sweet relish, canned, ever best. So uh, yes, I will be using these. I love the glass jar too. Uh, this, I have the same one. Um, it's in my hutch. So boom, now I have two of them. Where is it? Made in England. I don't know, cookies or something, but I, yeah, I did a second, like, wait, no, that looks familiar. Oh, I have it. So in here though, yours opens up a lot easier than mine. All this vintage, like finishing, sewing stuff, um, trim and lace binding and more buttons and zippers um this i feel like needs to go on a michael jackson jacket um spools clark spools with thread still on them um i've never seen this this is a buy new shuttle if machine skip stitching or breaks thread. The Boyle Needle Company, Chicago. Uh, well, I never seen them this way. So sewing needles, like for your sewing machine, but they're in this wooden container, which I've seen for us stitchers. I love it. Love it. This was pretty cool. I love this. I love the art artwork on this. This is Christmas greetings and best wishes for a happy new year. There's no date on it. To succeed, you must save, start a bank account, a gift that grows with years. Green County Bank, Greenville, Tennessee. Um, so, you know, the advertisement for it. Start a bank account, and then you get needles included. Um, are they still in here? So here is your needle threader. And there's some needles. I love this. I have a couple of these, and I think they're pretty fantastic. <gasps> We're going up here. Look at that. Look at that. I need to figure out a better place. Okay. GD, you're in my shelf now. Made it on my shelf. So, I would have been totally satisfied over the moon with this. But what did she contact me for in the first place? Look, my vagina hurts just looking at it and touching it. You guys, it's a speculum. <laughs> it's sterile. Um, it was autoclaved in 99. There's part of me that just wants to keep it in here. But then there's part of me that wants to take it out. 
I need more shelves in my medical bathroom because you guys send me medical stuff. This though is my first. Look at that. Look. Now you guys see. Now us women. That's how it works. You're welcome. This is my first medical instrument that I have in my medical bathroom. I know, kind of shocking, um, but totally appropriate that it's a speculum. So thank you so much, GD. You have no idea how much this makes me happy and pisses Joe off at the same time. Um, he's like, oh, it's, I said, he already now refuses. Once this is in the bathroom, he refuses to use that bathroom, which is fine with me. Um, and I said, calm down, it's sterile. And he's like, we can not make it sterile. And I told him careful because we'd be using it on him. I love this though. One more time. Oh, I can't. I love it. If it was smaller, I'd put it in here. That's what he actually said to put the speculum in here next to Frida, two things that disgust him. He doesn't like Frida, thinks she's funky, ugly with the unibrow and mustache. I tell him to get over it. Another thing to add to my list of jobs, mom, wife, job at the attic, running my own business, Marcy's telling me, Marcy Thiessen, Mimi Thiessen, um, on Instagram, tells me I need to now get into the finishing business. Now, I'm Novana. Don't get, don't get, you know, the wrong impression. I am Novana. Um... I met Marcy in Minnesota. She had brought, I've told this story before, a pile of finishes. And I sat down and went through them, fell in love with so many of them. And I decided I wanted to finish some of them for her. She's had a rough year. Um, and it drives me nuts seeing people not finishing their stuff. So I selected like six or seven, I don't remember. And this, I decided, okay, let's pull out one. Um, because every Thursday when I go to the thrift store, look for a frame or something to frame it up or to finish it up. Let's get going on this. Cause I have to, she's coming to um, Stitch Nanigans, my retreat in April, and I'm gonna have them ready and displayed for her. So um, this was the first one that I decided to finish. This is Easter Peep, P-E-E-P, -E -E Parade by With Thy Needle. Um, Marcy is pretty sure she did all called for colors. Um, the frame, what was in the frame? This photo. <laughs> um, don't worry, Marcy, I'm going to cover it up. I'll make it professional, non ghetto looking. Um, she, there are buttons on here. So decided to go with a no glass cover on it. Um, I mean, you can with when you have accoutrements on it. Um, you just need to space it. But this didn't even come with glass anyway. So it wasn't an option. Uh, framed it up and decided it needed something. So I had this 
lace in my stash. Boom. Done. I freaking love. Now, this is not my style, obviously, the, you know, rabbit pulling a cart. But I love how this turned out. Um, super, super happy. And all the pieces that I give back to Marcy, I want to love. Like, I want to keep. Like, I would keep this and put it up on my wall. Um, and that's how I want to feel towards all of the pieces that I finish for her. Um, kind of have like a little bittersweet, heartbreaking moment when she takes these home in April. That's what I want to feel because then I know I did my best. Um, so yeah, Easter Pea Parade with Thy Needle. I sent this to Marcy. She loved it so much. She just called me on the phone. <coughs> um, and so now I feel like I need to get into finishing for people. I'm working on the logistics and the specifics of it. Um, so again, 1884 Stitchery Facebook. Find it, follow it, because once I do kind of figure out everything, I can put all the information there. Uh, I have another piece that I'm in the works on. I'm looking for a oval frame. I'm not going to frame all of these, um, but the next one I'm working on or have in mind to start, I want, I think it's, it needs to be framed up as well because it does have, um, it has a key on it. A bow tie. Here, I'll just show you why. I can just get up and show you. Um, once I finish it, I'll let you guys know the specifics. So trick or treat. This is the next one that um, I plan on working up for Marcy. Love it as well. I have a circular um, frame, but it's a little too tight or the words here, it like butts up right between the two T's. And I think it just needs a little more room. So, um, yeah, I had so much fun though, finishing a piece that I didn't stitch. I love that. Okay. Thrift store purchases, yes. Okay, you guys. I'm sick. I don't want a cure. I've been on it the last couple of weeks with the thrift store, really. The place um, just down the road from the attic. I go there every Thursday. They're starting to recognize me. Um, but they have enough of a turnover that it's not like I I see the same things week after week. Um, so let me show you what I got. All right. Actually, these are going to be a combination of the hospice place and goodwill so goodwill yesterday i went looking for frames um found this dollar 49 not my style but if i start my finishing business this could be a finish for somebody um so it's easy enough just to pop this out and Throw it in. Um, super, super cute. You could take this off. This is just hot glue gunned on. Um, but I don't know if it would, you know, make the wood kind of funky where the glue has been. But I don't think it's all that bad. So pick this up. Um... 
$2.99 for a cauldron. Yes, Amy, do you see this? Amy, do you see this? It's a freaking cauldron. Um, it has some of, it's all dinged up. It has, it's not patina, is it? No. Um, yeah, this is freaking amazing finish, like a little pillow finish. Yes. <gasps> Idea. Fair. Fair entry. Look, you know they've already pissed me off this past year. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. But. Finish it in a cauldron. Um, 69 cents. Love the price. Um, went on my Facebook Messenger, my little open thread of friends. I said WTF and Jenny Cakes for the win. It's a test tube holder, you guys. Now I just need some test tubes. I love this though. So, so cool. Um, I first thought like scissors, because Bendy and I are on this, what can we use to put our scissors in? I mean, it's kind of. Let's find one without the jewelry on it. I mean, it's kind of. You could. Scissors for test tubes. Um, so this will be going into the medical bathroom. <laughs> oh my God, Joe's gonna kill me. All right. Um, oh, this is also Goodwill. This was $4. Look, it has all four of the feet. I love the detail around it. It's very magnetized. Um, obviously, this picture can be popped out. It's lined. Finish. You can put your drugs in here. Maybe some of your stitching stuff. Oh, put this by your stitching. Scissors, whatever. And then your animals and your kids don't get into your shit. Um, I picked this up, though, for a finishing idea. Not for me. For finishing. So that's what I got. The hospice place, um, I found one of the little sleds that I could do some sort of finish on if I decide or just throw it up on the Christmas tree as is. A milk glass scissor holder, gorgeous, three bucks. Goodwill yesterday. Um, these were yeses from friends because I don't have any girlfriends to go thrifting with or that appreciate my sense of crazy style. Um, so it's a little longer. That's okay. Little sequin beads on the pocket and matching all the way around the neck. That's when you know it's good because a lot of things it'll just be in the front but you get your hair up and you see it all the way in the back. It's gorgeous. I love it. Um, eight bucks, 100% silk. Yes. 
and somebody must have been cleaning out their their sequins because I found a few items. This is Sue Lee, hundred percent wool. Hong Kong, it's a large. Um, it's perfectly. So here's the front. Um, beads and the back. I mean, you could almost wear it either way. So, I mean, this is how you wear it, obviously, because the tag. So you have this. Oh, and look at the the detail all the way around. The detail is kind of what got me. Um, I feel like a playing card in it. Or why couldn't you wear it as a vest? Could you wear it as a vest? And then you have this on the back. Right? I mean, you could. And then you could leave it unzipped. I don't know. I like this on the front though. Let's pick that up. That was seven bucks as well. But the showstopper thrift store shop find of all finds. It's not thrift, it's not stitching. talk about this bag do we see this do you see this stop stitching and look up okay it is brocade fabulousness it is from Toro Toro Tano Tano of Madrid T-A-N-O made in Spain um it's actually like an actual purse, like it has room. It will fit my wallet, keys, and cell phone. That's all I carry. Oh, my makeup sequin bag. Um, I love the shape of this. The brocade goes all the way around. Love the gold details. The handles are in great shape. The only little so there's a little scuff right there, easily fixable. This was at the, see on the bottom, the feet have nowhere. Knowing someone probably bought this and thought, hell no, I don't have the balls enough to carry this out in public. Well, guess what? I got the balls. Um, took a picture of this, sent it to my ladies. Jenny Cake said, yes, get it. Um, and I thought, okay, I'll go around the thrift store, see what else there is. Um, I got this and some books for Cal. And had the lady show me this um, purse and then um, a full leather one that was like really worn in and gorgeous. Um, and so when she was getting me that one, I opened it up, Googled the name and these purses, the brand is from the 70s, okay? This purse, I could find a um, similar one. It's not the same. Maybe it did have the leather on it. Um, there was one on Etsy going for 150, 175, but it did not have these leather um, straps on it. It did not. Um, so I don't know if that they came off actually. Yeah. If they broke off some way or if it was like a fake, not sure. So, um, I did find another one though, 275. Um, now who knows if that's what they retailed for, but back in the seventies, a purse for 275 was a shit ton of money. Um, I scored this 25 bucks. Love it.
I don't love it. I haven't used it yet. Um, Thursday, though. I'm going to use it when I go to the shop. But I love it. It's just freaking gorgeous. Love this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's talk about 2019. It's coming up, you guys. It's coming up. Where has this year gone? You can go back to stitching. I'm going to take some of this stuff off my table. I don't know where it went. But ideas for 2019. I am going to do the whole six months. For six months, no new starts. Um, I think Bendy's going to do it. Um, Jesse Marie. I forget who originally proposed the idea. Um, I mean, I only have, well, now with Minerva done, what, I have, like, six whips? But they're freaking huge, okay? Um, so I'd like to get a lot of progress done on them. So keep whips for, you know, Eva and Eva. So I went through my stash the other night. Boys were having a movie night, Harry Potter. I don't do Harry Potter. And went through charts that I would like to start. So, um, what do I have? I just have three. So I pulled these three. My next video though, um, I'm going to talk about finishes I had in 2018. And then we're also going to go through my stash. Um, so that will be in my next video. And maybe I'll pull more to start. So a chart that I would want to start. Midsummer Night Designs. Medieval Mermaid. I fell in love this with this when um, Abby Bella Stitch. Um, showed it. Abby, you finished it, right? Yes. Um, I know she was pissed off about that whole section. So I love this. I want to stitch this. Um, so the fabric I pulled was a 40 count silk weaver, purely primitive. I picked this up in, in Jersey when I was there. Love modeling on it. Very slight, not crazy boom in your face. Um, colors kind of like a greenish gray, but definitely more on the greenish side. That is pretty true. And um, so 40 count, one over four. I'm thinking Belsois Slate. one color so I've already got my copy start made um so i'd like to start with that maybe if you have it in your stash you'll want to start it or maybe if you have started it, you'll want to kick it into your rotation again uh, this, is... Dirty D has this, Diana, um, and Emily, do you have this too? Mexican Sampler, 1850. I love it. It's funky. I love Mexico. I've been there a bajillion times. Um, yeah. So I was actually looking through this. So, newsflash for Diane and Emily, if you haven't read through. It's all... It has, like, sp like specialty stitches. Long arm, double running, split, straight, back, satin, 
cross stitch variation. And then the symbols, there's seven different symbols because like the B stands for one strand of 3750 and one strand of 924 and you got to work them together. And then A is two strands of 3768 equal sign is two strands of 154 and it's like you you're either working with one strand two strands of one certain color two colors one strand of each um, so you're blending or you're not um, so I don't know how I feel about that I think it'll look cool though, because you will see the variegation. I pulled um, the colors. There are four colors in this um, 3750, 352, and 3768. So blues and peach, which you clearly see from the chart. Um, there's one other color I'm missing, 924. I don't have it. Um, so I want to start that. I need to pull fabric. Obviously, some, obviously something um, neutral. I was going to do it on 40, but I can't do that if I'm gonna have to use two strands. I received early on during floss during early on when I started floss tube videos, I was sent a huge box of fabric and there were some charts thrown in and this piece was thrown in as well and not finished. Um, I was able to track down the pattern, Blackbird Designs, Head Grow, Stitching Bag, Sewing Bag, Project Bag. Um, so there's the front of it and then there's the back. Well, I was sent the front of it. Basically, pretty damn close finish. Um, so I pulled out the threads. Um, I didn't have some of them, so I substituted the cl closest possible. So combination of Simply Shaker and Gentle Arts. Um, so there are the threads. Um, and I will be able to finish this up. So I guess it's not a start, but it is a start to me seeing that I've never stitched it. Um, but yeah, so those are the three that I want to start. So I think my secret stitch I'm actually going to put away. Um, and then start on one of these, probably the Medieval Mermaid tonight, and get going on that. But in my next video, I will be showing you guys um, going through all my finishes that I completed for 2018. I think that'll be a ton of fun. I have them written down on my calendar. Um, I know some of them I've given away, so I'll have to grab photos for those. And then I'll enable some of you and be going through stash and seeing if there's anything else that I want to pull out and start. Okay. New to 1884stitchery.com. You guys ready? Let me show you some goodies. Now, by the time that this gets edited, uploaded, 
I'll be working on getting these posted. So whenever you see these, um, you can go over to 1884 Stitchery and purchase these. So I was contacted by Ellen Chester. Uh, she is the designer extraordinaire between uh, behind with my needle. Um, we got to chatting and I said, hey, I would love to carry your charts in my store. Let's do this. Um, so actually right now, these are live right now. And you would know that I made them live yesterday. Again, 1884 Stitchery on Facebook. Um, I had posted this and um, just within a few minutes, I had someone buy two of them. So what do I have available from With My Needle at this time? This is kind and true. Be ye always kind and true. I love the sentiment behind it. I love the border that it's only on three sides. I love the blues of it. I just love the whole color palette. Um, you are also given um, the alphabet uh, for personalization. So, I mean, this would also be a really cute wedding sampler. You could take out the words and either st stitch in name or the date. So kind and true. This is, I'll show you the colored version first. This is Emblem of Love, very Quaker um, inspired, as you can see with the medallions, half medallions. And it, the chart comes with this colored version of it, or if you wanna stitch it in just a one color so super cute. You could stitch the full medallions and just make them ornaments. So an emblem of love. Quaker turtles, my turtle, any turtle lovers. So you actually get four charts in this. You get all those four charts and they all are different stitching accessories. Needle book, pin cushion, a pocket, or a scissor weight. Um, she gives you all the suggested linen layouts for an 18 by 10 piece, a 10 inch by 18 piece of linen. Um, so super cute. Here's another, so Quaker, Quaker Turtles. Uh, here is With My Needle. Double backstitch, backstitch, closed herringbone, four-sided, some satin. Super cute. And a accompanying piece to with my needle is Let Virtue Be a Guide to Thee. Again, love the floral border. I love the people in it. Let Virtue Be a Guide to Thee. You could easily take that out and make it a wedding sampler. So yeah. Um, so again, I made my own, or I made uh, with my needle, its own little tab up at the top, you'll see it. 
<coughs> click on that and that will take you to all of her charts that I have in stock. If you are looking for any of her charts in particular, um, message me and I will see if I can get copies of them for, um, for next time I order. This was the goodie box. This arrived, look at this. This arrived so much sooner. They told me 10 days. Um, I easily got this within five days of saying that it had been shipped out. Um, so this came out of Tokyo. Um, now, Now I'm trying, trying to organize oh, the smell of fresh patterns. Love it. Now, some of these designers may be new to you guys. Some of these you guys have maybe heard of before. Um, and the ones that you have heard of before I want to carry charts that maybe are a little more unique. You can't find on one, two, three, or um, they would be considered maybe like a special order. So, Barbara Anna, um, I have Viva La Vida. This is my Frida one. Again, another one that I want to start. Um, I just need to pull the colors. So Barbara Anna, Viva La Vida. And again, all these will be put up by the time this video airs. Oh, Christmas Tree by Barbara Anna. Super, super cute. Just a few colors. Um, and I'm loving... Mr. and Mrs. down there. I fell in love with Gira. I think it's Gira, G-E-R-A. Um, my girl crush, Elena B, was um, showing these pieces that she had stitched or was stitching early on in in her videos and I just fell in love with kind of their whimsical bright colors so from Gira I have forever um I love that the white is kind of like a lacy look effect love the stained glass um yeah I just love this so this is Forever from Gira. I also have The School Girl's Day. It's after um, a novel of Asumu Dazi, The School Girl. So it's a novel. Um, so you could either stitch it as whole or just stitch, you know, every kind of, every like little motif, the girl reading, the bike, super cute. Um, I think this would be really cute as like a birth sampler because you have enough room in the middle. You could add, easily add a name. Another Barbara Anna. This is the Christmas Ornament Trio. I love Santa and Rudolph, Santa and the Reindeer right there. Squirrel and House. So you get all three of those patterns. River Drift House. Amazing pieces that they have. So... I 
wanted to try to pull something to get everyone's sort of interest. This is called Spring Mini Sampler. Love the colors, um, little motifs, the little flower border here. Um, she's holding a rooster, a chicken, a chicken. I love that her hair is up. So this is River Drift House Spring Sampler. Then also have winter sampler. Um, and I love that in all the designs, you know, it's just the lady in the middle and then what's different is just like the motifs around her. Um, so winter. Here is Summer. Summer is probably my favorite. Love the strawberries. The flower in her hair. Love her dress. Okay, really. Um, flowers down at the bottom. Yeah. So, Summer. Um, and let me actually show you. They have a autumn one as well. Um, and I'm trying to get my hands on a couple of those copies but these will keep you busy so you could get the other three also from river drift house this is halloween spookies love the witches um you could stitch one so you could just stitch one next to you know like her cat and make that an ornament or a stand up or something um, so yeah, Halloween spookies. And then down at the bottom is Halloween here. Love the bats. I love it because it's big, it's colorful, it's kooky. You got green rabbits. You got pink birds, you have stripper pole dancer guys on the ship again, River Drift House Anglesey reproduction sampler. Let me just show you. I love this. Um, Emily, there's a big house for you. These aren't very Emily colors, but you know, she'd make it all dark and badass. This one's a little bit bigger. It's 297 by 205. Um, 18 shades of DMC. Um, it's a close reproduction of a Welsh wool sampler by Catherine Jones, 1866, when she was 12 years old. Um, and then there's writing, little write-up on the back about the sampler. But I saw this and I loved it. And I thought, hey, maybe you guys will too. Pierre, P no, it's not Pierre. I don't even know because I don't speak French. Happy Childhood Collection Africa. We hear it all the time in the stitching community that there's not enough adversity in the cross stitch charts when it comes to ladies, be it the Miras or lavender and lace or really any, any design, even with kids in them or whatever. So I thought this was beautiful. I love the birds going down. Um, the parrot's going down along. So this is Happy Childhood Africa. 
Love her with her little umbrella parasol. So there's, there's, this is what it looks like completely. So again, you could stitch it all or just stitch, you know, a certain little motifs. She's got a little monkey friend, super cute. And the little boy. Cute. So happy childhood Africa. Uh, back to Gira. Here is posing. Love the roses in there. It's, I just love the colors on the uh, linen color. I think it's just all, all perfect. And this is also um, from the book Schoolgirl. So, and so is the next one. So you could probably stitch, it's like a triptych, I guess. It would be all three of them stitched up. BS, I feel like you need this because it says the word rose on it. This is called Rose's Embroidery. Just cute. Adorable. And finally, the last Gira. Here is the Little Mermaid. Again, love the colors. I want a frame like that, okay? Um, again, with the white, it kind of has like sort of a lacy effect. How cool would that be if you just did that in beads? Um, the shells, I mean, I know there's like a lot of mermaid designs out there, um, but I thought this one just kind of had a different aesthetic to it. So super, super cute. Um, so again, when you see this video, um, the all of these charts plus with my needle will be up. Um, so make sure to check that out. You can pause me and then come back. Um, so yeah, I think that is it. Thank you for sticking around. I can see that this is like an hour and a half video, but take it or leave it. Long videos are good. Love the long videos. Break them up. You don't need to watch me all in one sitting. I mean, kudos if you do. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching me and subscribing. Oh, I need to go eat. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I will leave links um, as well down into the description box. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day whenever you are watching this and I'll catch you guys next time.